All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders. He had great millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful, elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. I write it to your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor uh, 144. GMS uh, uh, Midlands Camp, South Carolina, or South Carolina Midlands Camp, and uh, Kabai Yasharala page coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, now getting straight into this video. Uh, today I'm going to be using uh, just, you know, Lord willing, this video gets to uh, be up because, you know, this devil, all right, our, our enemy, all right, Esau, who the scriptures speak about. And uh, pursuing to um, uh, uh, two scriptures that come into my mind. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get them, but pay attention to this article. It says uh, South Carolina breaks the daily, you know, the daily vid case count at nearly 9000. Now, this is news that you can go see uh, right here on ABC News or any local South Carolina news. All right. And this article came out as of today, which is Sunday, January 2nd. Now. Mindful with this article, too, as we're going to uh, 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 lead down to, because I'm going to read a little bit of this article and just, you know, go through the spirit, just showing you uh, uh, the 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 trickery that this devil is trying to play. All right. Because is is go figure that this this article comes out on a Sunday. And now, mind you, all these people. All right. Your, uh, 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 your, your, your average American have just been what out here celebrating all this BS, all these pagan holidays. And tomorrow, a lot of these people are going to be returning to their uh, institutions, whether it's work, whether it's school, uh, wherever it may be. But just watch how this devil, like, like I say, he puts it, this devil puts uh, it right in your face because, hey, all this is uh, uh, alluding to the to that shutdown coming, man. Because bet you, best believe, whenever these people return back to their institutions, there's going to be so-called outbreaks of the you-know-what, all right? And a lot of these people have already received the juice, all right? Like, you got to, you, this is why you have to pay attention. This is what a, a watchman is supposed to be doing, all right? And this devil is is saying that within his article, he's going to be saying uh, um, how his so-called record-breaking numbers, all right? Now, with that being said, real quick. Just to, to prove that what, look what the scriptures tell you in Isaiah 13, it says, uh, starting at the top, the burden of Babylon, all right? And, and today's modern Babylon is 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 America, man, okay? It has the same customs, the same, uh, it upholds the same things of the old Babylon uh, upheld, man, all right? It's the same thing, pack, repackaged and uh, rebranded. But it's the same thing, same philosophy, same mind frame of the people, okay? But the burden of modern day Babylon, modern day America, all right? But in this particular scripture, hey, this is the burden of Babylon, all right? And, and which is also America, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, all right? Exalt the voice unto them, shake, that, shake the hands that they may go into the gates of the nobles, okay? So his scripture says, lift ye up a banner. A high lift ye up a banner, all right, upon the high mountain. Now that banner goes into what? Because when you when you're lifting up a banner, that means you're lifting up a sign, all right. You got to think about it like that. You're lifting up a sign for people to see, and it says on the high mountain. Now the banner that's being lifted on the high mountain goes back into that banner represents this truth, this knowledge, and this understanding, all right. Uh, not having the people in the mind frame of darkness celebrating uh, 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 all the BS. All right, pretty much making sure that the Lord's chosen people, all right, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, that your eyes are open, all right? Your spiritual eyes are open. That way you're wise to see what the goddamn devil is uh, planning to do, all right? Because, see, our people, they don't have, they don't believe that they have an enemy, all right? There's countless scriptures where the Lord is telling us that we have an enemy, man, all right? Well, the Lord is saying the nation of enemy, uh, the nation of Israel, what, you'll be sold to your enemies, all right? Never trust thine enemy, all right? The Lord is telling uh, uh, his children, uh, first and foremost, that we have an enemy. Now, in this particular scripture, it says, what, lift ye up a banner, all right? That banner going back into uh, knowledge, truth, understanding, meaning that, hey, the Lord 
right now, the Lord has his prophets out there telling our people how you're supposed to be conducting and governing yourselves. All right. Because it was scripture says upon the high mountain. Now, that high mountain represents what Esau's and America's uh, philosophies and, and, and their traditions. That's why the banner, it, it, the scriptures says, uh, 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 lift you up that banner all right, upon the high mountain. All right, and it says, exalt the voice. How are we exalting the voice? We shout when not the truth on the highways and byways. Shake the hand, all right, that they may go into the gates of the noble. All right, and the gates of the noble represents what? This 1%, these elites, etc. your governors, your politicians, all those that are attempting to uh, stop the truth, all right? Stop, because all this other BS can be going on in America, right? Like you can have the ABC community, all right? You can have uh, 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 that black culture community that's destroying our people, all that madness it can be going it can be going on but when all when now that the uh the truth and uh uh, uh pursuing to what uh the son of perdition being exposed now that the exposure is being on this devil all right you got to understand that, hey, this devil all right these uh so called edomites these white folks or these edomites these so called white folks they don't like being exposed for the wickedness that they're doing all right and and uh brothers have been saying that movie uh look up that's on Netflix very good movie to see. They show you in that movie how uh, pretty much how Esau, all right, he has that mentality of he he doesn't want to be exposed, man. All right. Now, that's why the scripture says, shake the hand that it may go into the gates of the nobles, because this truth has went to the gates of the noble. The standard is being lifted up right now as we speak. All right. And the scriptures allude to say, I, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness, all right? And the sanctified ones, a Abaratazah, a beginner of our apostles and our elders are, are the ones that are uh, lifting up that banner that the Lord has commanded us to uh, lift up upon this high mountain, all right? Uh, uh, pretty much exposing who the devil is, uh, exposing who the Lord's chosen people is. And with that, the standard being lifted up, uh, uh, the standards of what the Lord, you know, you even have people that so-called have standards of what they want in life. Hey, the Lord has standards of what he expects and what he uh, 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 will expects and commands his children to be moving by. All right. But hey, with Esau uh, having us oppressed and being the devil that he is. All right. Hey, uh, our people uh, 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 was uh, pretty much bowing down to Esau. That's what the whole point of the Lord uh, blow, blowing that breath back into the life of the nation of Israel, all right? And that standard has been being lifted up by our apostles and our elders and by sincere brothers, man, the instructions of how we're supposed to be governing ourselves if you say that you uh, serve the Lord and if you're a true believer of the Lord, all right? And uh, uh, it's only a few, uh, a group of, beginning with the, the men that the Lord set up, men that have been uh, 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 living that way, man, all right? And, and, Abu that hey, we're that 144,000, and that one third of elect is 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 sealed, man. In, in in these times that we're in, man. All right, but we know it's uh as the scriptures say, a hey, our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right, now going back to this article real quick. All right, because that's just hey, the spirit had it where I just want to um, or the spirit just had it where we, as we read that Isaiah, just breaking down the fact of what the uh when it says lift you up the banner. And that high mountain is, man, because we gotta lift up that uh that truth on this on this on this devil, man. Because see an article like this, our people aren't looking for this, man. They're just in that la 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 la. I had a good break. Uh I had a good Christmas, a uh, happy new year, and I'm going back to work tomorrow. Gotta go back to work and work for the white man and or uh, whatever. You know, you you have our people in that mind frame, ah, oh, I hate to go back to work, but you was out here living it up in straight folly. All right, doing everything. Uh, as the scriptures say, uh, 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 rudiments of this world, man, traditions of men. All right. And now you're going to go back to work. You're going to, you're not going to, going to see this article. You're not going to be paying attention to this article because you're ready to go back to work, your school or wherever it is to show off all your so-called worldly possessions. All right. And to talk about all your folly that you were just participating in, not knowing that this devil is planning to do what? Continue to come down with a great wrath because he know his time is short. All right. Now I'm going to read a little bit of this article and we're going to jump into that Revelation 12 and 12. All right. Now, this article, it starts off, says, you know, South Carolina breaks the, you know, daily vid case count at nearly 9000. 
Now, this is coming out of Columbia. It says South Carolina has reported a record high number at nearly 9,000 cases in one day. State health officials confirmed 8,882 cases Friday. All right. And that was what? The day before yesterday. All right. And it says that's less than a year after the state record it previously recorded of 7,686 cases back in January. So they're saying that just last year they had a high record. And so going into this year, 2022. All right. Now, all of a sudden they have a, a high case record. All right. Now, it says health officials say the real number of cases is uh, likely higher because the state doesn't include rapid, you know, the test at home. All right. And then uh, you can read the rest uh, in your consideration. And they also were saying what well, right here at the end, it says they also urge South Carolinians to consider making uh, uh, celebrations distance or virtual. Now, mind you, this article came out today. So the celebrations have already taken place. Like people have already went to parties, already done all this other stuff, man. All right. In spite of all, you know, because, you know, you have people that's already juiced up. Now, this is going to uh, make people think that they got to go get the uh, uh, the boost juiced and all this extra stuff, because this is how the devil is going to play on your mind, because our people lack spiritual discernment. All right. Now, now we're going to uh, jump to Revelations 12 and 12 right quick, because Hey, this is this is why you have to put on the full armor of the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. So you can withstand the, the wiles of the devil, man. All right, the, the craftiness and the trickery of the damn devil. And why is that? Hey, Revelation chapter 12 and 12, it says what? It says, uh, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell therein. Woe, okay, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right. This devil knoweth that he has but a short time, man. That the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is on his ass, man. As we read in Isaiah 13, man, it has went to the uh, uh the gates of the nobles, man. All right. Hey, the Lord's uh sanctified ones, Abaratazah. Hey, we're those men, begin with our apostles and our elders. Hey, man, we've been out there lifting up that banner and that standard. And now Esau knows that he has but a short time and that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is on the way to uh, redeem his children, man. All right. Just as he did in the days of old, man. All right. The Lord is on his way back to redeem those one that stood in great boldness, as the scriptures say. And what we out there doing, man, through the spirit, professing the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Telling our enemy, telling our, our, our nation to wake uh, 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 a, uh, a re repent and return to the Lord and telling our, our enemies that we know that you're our enemies and tell these heathens that we know that you're the heathens. And, we're, and, and when the Lord comes back, he's going to restore order in this place. It's going to be righteousness, man. All right. And see, the devil knows that. And, and, and this is why he's coming down with that great wrath, man. This is why this, this, this devil is, is playing all these semantics. And this is why a hey, this devil knows that uh, a, a, that he can. Uh, 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 continue to manipulate the, the Lord's people because our people aren't seeking the Lord. All right. Now, with that being said, real quick, Isaiah uh, 55, Isaiah 55 and 6, it says what? Because all this information is out here, but our people are, are too busy uh, 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 in the house of mirth, man. Instead of the house of mourning, we're going into some it's going to be some heavy times that's going to be taking place right now, man. We're going in, hey, hey every day, man, we're getting closer to the time of Jacob's trouble, man. This devil already has his uh, juice out here. He got the boost juice, and he's going to be implementing that boost juice when you people go back to your establishments tomorrow. And, hey, man, and you, and you should have been doing this right here, man. All right, Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him. While he is near. All right. Because, hey, the Lord is near, man. All right. We see all these signs taking place, man. All right. The scriptures tell us that when you start note seeing these signs, you're supposed to know that this is the time that the Lord is coming to visit the place which he made. All right. I believe that's second address. All right. Now, with this being said, it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. All right. You see the apostles and the elders and sincere brothers on the highways and byways giving you the truth. All right. Going back to Isaiah, man. Hey, that, that standard is being lifted up because our people can't lie to themselves, which they're doing and say that they that they feel like everything is OK, man. All right. How could you feel like everything is OK? Mind you, you people are already took in this damn poison. But yet this devil is, is telling you, you got to take you got to take uh, you got to get the boost juice now. So how could you think that everything is OK? 
All right, that goes to show that, hey, man, that our people are ignorant, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and our people are, are, are in that continuous rebellious state of mind of rebelling against the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai, their power, man. All right? I, um, scriptures, uh, it, it tells you that, man. The Lord says, um, just roughly paraphrasing, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of it, that particular uh, verse as, as uh, verbatim as I can. I know it, it alludes to the... Uh, to the point where the Lord says, uh, you would pretty much rebel more and more, man. All right. Our people would rebel more and more if the Lord was to put us in, a, in another captivity instead of what? Seeking the Lord and asking themselves, how can we um, or, or uh, this can't be living. This can't be life. As it's, uh, uh, like this. This can't be our rest, man. All right. But you're going to have uh, symbols of our people, the simplicity of our people that's going to be going back to their institutions tomorrow. All right, uh, sending their kids back to school tomorrow in that old and that still folly state of mind, thinking everything is okay, thinking if uh, thinking that they're in the good cases because they have their their juice. All right, not knowing that this devil, as that article is saying, is so called record high numbers that this is a, a ploy for this devil to uh, push that that boost juice now, man. All right, now it says. Back to Isaiah 55 and 6, 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. What our people should be doing. All right. It said, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, that he will have mercy and, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power. He will abundantly pardon. Okay. And this is if the wicked, want, the wicked of our people will repent for their ways, man. All right, fast, man. A lot of our people need to be fasting and repenting to the Lord for all the, the, the shit that they just took part in, man. For all the uh, wickedness that they allowed their temples to absorb, so to speak, man. Being in the state of mind, state of mind of celebrating uh, Christmas, receiving gifts, all right? Uh, um, uh, celebrating on uh, uh, on these days whenever uh, when Esau tells you to, man. All right, now this devil is going to... Uh, 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 continue to come up with reasons why he can uh, continue with uh, uh, poking you people. All right. But, you know, even with the spirit of uh, uh, being out of so-called being out of the spirit this year, I, I noticed that a lot within our community as well to the so-called Negro Latino and um, Native American community. I noticed that uh, that that our people didn't have that super spirit of being in the spirit of uh, Christmas and New Year's on them as they have had previous years. Um, nevertheless, you still, it was a lot of cases of where, um, you know, a lot of Eve were getting exposed. Uh, I seen a, a few, uh, videos where, uh, you had a lot of Eve getting exposed, uh, during this so-called, uh, uh, Christmas holidays. All right. Uh, there's, there's one I'm just thinking about where you had this Eve and that spirit leads. I'll probably put that on my Kabbalah, Yasharala page, just showing you, uh, uh, the wickedness of these women. All right. And, but, and that's a, another topic for another day. Staying on spirit with this. All right. Um, hey, man. And scripture said, let the wicked forsake his ways and you will be abundantly pardoned. So they're going back to, as I was saying, man, um, hey, our people need to be in that mind frame of hey, repenting and, 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 and really fasting, man, because the Lord is very upset with the nation of Israel. All right. But hey, the Lord still is, is extending his hand of mercy right now as we speak. <coughs> Shalaki. And he said, what? And the scripture says, um, and returning to the Lord, Yahweh by Shema was shy. And he will have mercy upon you and, and, you, and you will be abundantly pardoned. So, hey, I would advise hey, all you uh, 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 Negroes, Latino and Native Americans that were in that spirit because they're the spirit of the Lord. He says he sees all the ones that um, his eyes, are, he, he's always watching his children. The spirit of the Lord, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. And if his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, don't you think he's watching his children? All right. He's watching over them. And, uh, and 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 amongst the uh, uh, even the wicked ones that he's watching over, you know he's watching over the hopeful, humble, fearful elect. All right, but the wicked ones, man, the Lord is still extending mercy, man. All right, but hey, our people want to continue to rebel and rebel. All right, but this is the time that we should be seeking the Lord because a hey, salvation is what nearer than we believe. Now, real quick, because uh, relating to that article. You got to read this Isaiah 30, all right? 
Isaiah 30, and it says, um, verse 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children. Going back to you rebellious uh, nation of Israel, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans that uh, don't want to listen to the, the prophets of the Lord, that, that pretty much the, the elders and apostles and the men of the Lord, all right, sincere brothers, and we give our people that sound advice, shit that makes sense, man. But see, Esau and, and, and these doctors and, and the physicians of no value, as the scriptures tell you, they tell you shit that realistically don't make sense. And our people suck that shit up. Going back to you, that's how you know who the Israelites is. The scriptures say, uh, hey, our people say what? Prophesy not unto us right things. Tell us smooth things. All right? Because when we, hey, we tell our people to write things, and our people don't want to do it, man. All right? We tell our people, hey, don't take this poison. Take it anyway. Right now, our people in that state of mind, well, I don't took my poison. I don't took my two, my two, um, I don't took my two uh, juices. Now they're telling me I need some boost juice. I don't want to take the boost juice. I ain't taking the boost juice. But it's, hey, you people in that same state of mind, I ain't taking the boost juice. And we'll be in line, uh, 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 lined up to take all them damn boost juices that this devil damn near tell you to and tell you to say so. All right. Because as that article we just read, all he got to do is put an article out and be like, oh, record breaking numbers. All right, now all of a sudden you people are gonna be scared again and be like, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to do it, but I gotta do it for my for my job's sake or just for cause I, you know, instead of trusting in the Lord, you how about Shimei was shy. All right, Isaiah 30 and 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, you how about Shimei was shy, that take counsel, but not of me. All right, because our people I take counsel from uh just just everybody, foolishness, man, foolish people, people that ain't even uh uh, uh doctors. All right. Even when you have a uh, uh, realistical uh, doctors telling you not to take it, our people don't even want they wouldn't even take counsel from uh, uh, certified so-called certified doctors telling you not to take it. They're, they're going to they still would cling to the doctor and say, hey, you need to take it because this thing is scary. All right. You know, the scripture says uh, that take counsel, but not of me and, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. Okay, so all you people that are going to be getting boosted and boosted, you're just going to continue to add sin to sin, man. And you're not going to have that covering of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because the devil is 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 further and gradually uh, leading you sheep astray, man. All right, now here it is, the Lord, hey, Yahweh Shai is our is our true is the good shepherd. All right, and the good shepherd has advised. Some uh, you know, some some a hey, through the spirit of, of, of the Lord, how about Shema Shai? He has advised a hey, apostles and elders how to conduct the sheep to move, man. All right, this is how the shepherd wants us to move, and you have what the rebellious or just the wandering sheep, man. All right, that are just continuing to do wickedness, man. All right, now it says uh that that they cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. All right, because our people say, hey, we love the Lord, hey, hey, but that the Lord say, but not of my spirit. How can you be a servant of the Lord, but you're doing everything opposite of the Lord? Because the Lord tells you to lean and trust on him. Put trust not in men, but you have our people trusting in men. And, and this is the time when you should be proving that you trust the Lord. All right. And as the scriptures say, the rebellious children that have a covering, but not a covering of the Lord. All right. Because right now we see our people. All right. Saying people that, oh, I love the Lord. I fear the Lord. But you out here in line getting the damn, uh, uh, getting jabbed up, getting juiced up. Ready to get boosted up out here celebrating pagan holidays. All right. Just coming back off of um, celebrating all this other madness. But you love the Lord, man. That's uh, hey, those. Those are the uh, the wicked ones of the nation of Israel, man. Covering, but not a covering of the Lord, man. All right. And then it says um, just real quick. It says uh, that walk down to Egypt and not ask at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and trust in the shadow of Egypt. Just our people having that continuous trust. In the ways of this world, man. All right. And, and and as I said before, that movie on Netflix, I believe it's called Don't Look Up or Look Up. It shows you it, it, it gets into that. You know, if you have that spiritual eye to see it, man, it shows you how the people continue to trust in uh in America, so to speak, man. All right. But um, as I said, man, I just want to read this article a hey, giving our people that warning. All right. Oh, hey, the devil, man. The scriptures tell you what his eyes are privily set against the poor, man. All right. And, and and our people, the Negro, Latino, Native American, represent the poor. And why is our people poor mostly? Our people are poor because um they don't have the true uh understanding 
of the of the scriptures, man, because these scriptures are re are really the true riches, man. All right, now real quick, I'm gonna read this first Peter. I'm gonna read that uh that, that in Psalms too. All right, about this devil. All right, this is um real quick first Peter five and eight. And it says it says be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, your damn enemy, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk up about seeking whom he may devour all right this devil all right is seeking whom he may devour all right and 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 he's going to attempt to devour the nation of israel man all right and 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 that's really a warning to to the nation of israel beware man we have an enemy that's seeking to destroy you man all right scripture tell you that in um ezekiel 35 and 5 this devil has a perpetual hatred towards you man that's why you have got to be sober minded man you can't be drunk off the philosophies and the ways of this world, which in two thirds our people are, man. All right, be vigilant, stand firm for what we believe in. We believe in Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. All right, but our people don't, man. They don't know how to be vigilant, man. They're 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 being uh, arm in arm with the goddamn enemy, man. The scriptures tell you, hey, though though join uh, uh, hand in hand with the wicked, uh, though do, do, though join hand in hand, roughly paraphrasing, the wicked will not go un unpunished, man. All right, now we're going to read this, uh, I believe that's Psalms chapter 10 right quick. I believe that's Psalms 10. Yeah. Yep, it says, um, this devil, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we know what that is. Deceit and fraud, man, the damn devil, man. Fraud, man, physician of no value, man. All right. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places, though he murder the innocent, his eyes are privily set against the poor. He lieth and waits secretly as a lion. All right, that roaring lion seeking who he can devour. In the den, he lieth and waits to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draw him in, when he draw him into his net. He croucheth and humble himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Okay. All right. And then uh, and also he said, he said in his heart, Yahweh have forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. All right. Hey, going back into the pride of this damn devil, man. Going back to hey, in reality, because the scriptures tell you what this devil, he know if the most high resist, uh, it exists, man. All right. Uh, it, it tells you that, man. I believe that's uh, James real quick. But um, going back to that pride of the devil, you think the Lord don't see it, man. But see, the devil, he know the Lord exists. And this is why this devil is coming down with a great wrath, as we read in um in uh, Revelation 12 and 12. All right. But you see, it says his eyes are privily set against the poor, as we just read in uh, Psalms 10. Because he's uh, uh hey, the devil is, is trying to devour the nation of Israel. All right. All right. But hey, the true believers of Yahweh Bashim Ha'ashim are going to be sober, be uh, vigilant, man. All right, but um, what was I going to read right quick? James, I think that's James. Uh, James two, James twenty nine. Uh, where is it? Uh, I, let me see if I can find it right quick. Um, uh, thou doest good. I know it's that it says, thou doest well, but the devil, you know, I know it's in James. I brought his eye. Uh, let's see. Shalaki. Let me see real quick. Do a quick search. Uh, let me put it in trouble. Real quick. Shalaki, bear with me. I can. Let's see. Tremble. Uh, it's in the New Testament. Yeah, James 2 and 19. All right, and it says. Um, Thou believest there is one Yahweh, thou doest well. Thou, thou believest there is one power, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So this devil, this enemy Esau, he knows that the Most High exists. That's why he got his NASA programs and et cetera, et cetera, you know, because he knows that the Lord exists. That's, hey, through the spirit, hey, Akim Agwa, check that movie out uh, on, on, the, on Netflix, man. Uh, uh, 
because those so-called uh, things out of space, you know, they, they, they're supposed to, you know, you'll, you'll know what they're supposed to represent if the Lord is dealing with you, man. All right. And, this, and, and as we just read this James 2 and 19, these devils, they know that the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, was, shy exists. And this is why they tremble, man. This is why they're coming down with a great wrath, man. But hey, but, but, hey, but the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man, we have to do what, man? Seek the Lord while he is near, man. All right. So, Abaratazah, this uh, quick video was edifying the good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well and Shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful, elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.